Breaking news. Bene Republic Court declines extradition of Chief Sunday Boho to Nigeria, orders him to remain in cell. Hello, my wonderful people. I think I quite prefer that than bringing him to Nigeria. Eventually, things will be sorted out by God's grace. So what's going on? Yesterday, we saw that um, Chief Sunday Boho was in court. Guess what? He was not in court alone. The show of solidarity was unbelievable. Do you know that the Oni of Ife, the uh, Olu uh, Ibadon of Oyo State, and other prominent persons sent delegates, and it's clear that Chief Sunday Boho is not a loner in this, and that um, the Southwest appreciates what you know he's done or what he meant. We also heard Governor Babajide Sanwolu says that the governors of the Southwest are working behind the scene. We don't know how true because, you know, politicians in Nigeria is what we call convenient excuse just to get away from that question when he was asked the question, that, what are you guys doing? Anyway, this was what happened yesterday. Let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Breaking news. Bene Republic Court declines extradition of Sunday Igboho to Nigeria, orders him to remain in cell. Supporters of Igboho were dispersed from the premises of the court later in the evening, prompting fear that he might be deported to Nigeria. The Cotonou Court has ordered Yoruba Nation agitator Chief Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Igboho, to be kept in prison custody pending further investigation. The court, however, declined extradition of Igboho to Nigeria by any means, says no. The court, which was expected to start hearing case at 10 a.m., branded reports and supporters of Igboho who were all over the premises. The hearing commenced at 5 p.m. And even at that, it was a secret hearing because most people were shut out. Daily Trust reports that supporters of Igboho were dispersed from the premises of the court later in the evening, prompting fear that probably he might be deported. The government of Nigeria has accused Sunday Igboho of trafficking in arms, inciting violence to despair public peace and agitating for section. He also sought his extradition to Nigeria. Igboho and his wife were arrested at the Cotonou International Airport last Monday while trying to catch a flight to Germany. However, Ropo, who is a Germany citizen, was set free by the court on Thursday when the first hearing started. Why the self-agitator remained in custody of Cotonou? Igboho was placed on the wanted list on July the 1st by the Department of State Services after his operatives raided his so-called residence in Ibadan, killing two of his aides. They arrested 12 others who are still in police custody in Abuja, Nigeria. So this was what happened yesterday, you see, um, and um, this was uh, most of the things that went on. Sunday Buhu has since then been in custody at Bene Republic. And um, people are wondering, where do we go from here? What's going to happen next? But the truth of the matter is we are really grateful to God for how far the case has come. Because if you look at everything and all that has been happening, you know that we have a reason to be very grateful to God. Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igboho, all he ever wanted, like you always know, was that the Southwest would be free from oppression. And Sunday Igboho came to the lamb light and sin because of Buhari's failure. Buhari, not just his failure, because of what Buhari wanted. Buhari wants, you know, to enslave Nigeria and follow his, oh, his father's dream that Nigeria, in quote and unquote, belongs to the Fulanese. But the British were the ones who made them not to enjoy what belongs to them. Long and short of it is that at the end of the day, he is quiet. Now, they said um, uh, Southeastern uh, ESN have been killing people. But guess what? <laughs> the people, the soldiers, and the, and, the, I mean, and the security personnel 
that Boko Haram has killed. The government do not want to even do anything about it. Oh, no, they don't want to do anything about it. They are quite happy that those things are happening because they will tell you. I mean, they just have this twisted mindset. It is because of what they believe, I must tell you. There is this archaic mindset that Nigeria belongs to them some way, somehow, and every other person is trying to derail them from, their, from what belongs to them. And sadly, the president is in line with it. Do you know, do you know that even the U.S. index earlier this year with regards to Nigeria said the president of Nigeria is nepotic? This is, this is not my word, their words. They said they found out that he's, he's particularly favoring an ethnic group. And it shows you the kind of person he is. He's particularly favoring some set of people and has neglected his duty as a president for a country. This is not my words. This is their words. This is their words saying that this man, you know, it's, it's, it's not a man for all. You see, and that's why... Those of them who supported Barack Obama was one of those in the forefront. You know, human being, we only see with the lens from which we are seeing today. Eh? And we only judge from what somebody has told us. But do you know who knows the heart of everybody? Oh, he knows the heart. He knows it in and out. He knows the heart totally, completely well. He knows what people are, I mean, he knows what, he knows what you will transform to. 10 years down the line. He knows. That's why, in case you are out there, you're getting married anytime soon. Please, don't just get into the whole um, merriment and the, the whole celebration, planning and all that. Please, find time to pray. I know what I'm talking about. However you want to pray, just, just ask God to just take control of what's going to be happening in the next few days, next few months in your life. And if it's not meant to be, I know it's a difficult one, that it should just take you out of it. Have you not heard? I know of a young girl who married, and that person, not only she married her enemy. What do I mean by that? That was the person that killed her. It's only your enemy that kills you, right? So please, Nigerians, we are so gullible. We followed it all. Oh, Buhari, Buhari. Today, where are we? If we can go back to the, in, in time, what will we do? Change the hands of time. So please, don't just, hey, no, 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 please. Please, please, let's change it, okay? Let's, let's not just see with just the eyes of today. Leave us a comment. We'd really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.